when they get up because as a child you know i've been bullied so when the captain did tell me that i said maybe this was before it's god like started people, coming into my life when more. they get when they get a, a, a piece of con like control of authority mm. right yeah some people don't know how to act yeah. They go crazy. Like yeah. they get twisted. And they be like, I'm the law, but I know the but then when I went to the judge, they go even... when I went to the judge and I told her I know the whole law. I'll tell you every single amendment. I basically I was gonna tell her next. I, they shut off the microphone because they said, Aaron, no, you know you're being recorded with everything you're saying. They said they shut up the they, and they didn't even record my last part. When I told them about the Because you they, know why? Because you're reciting the law. Like you're mm -hmm. a, you're reciting because I'm telling them what, what the law, what what the law is, what you're entitled to. What? More importantly, and more importantly, is you're reciting, you're telling them what you know, the truth, the knowledge, right? That's you're, right, grandma. You know, grandma said you're going to be the smartest boy when I was a child. She told me that. I learned my multiplication at listen to six me. years old. Listen to me. God tells us the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they're mighty through God. Because yes, there's gonna be plenty of times we feel like knocking somebody the heck out. But then we have to say, God, what does you want me to do? And because you know this person at NASA that told me I should be a good person. You what you look want me to do? Mm -hmm. because, because I know I feel this way and I'm in my feelings, but God get me out of my feelings, get me in your spirit. They so try I to do so I will do what you want me to do, I will do the right thing. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They try, wait, but real quick, they try to degrade me. The guy at NASDAQ said, you should become a hood. Ask a hood person of how to be in the hood, right? I'm like, what? Guy at NASDAQ. What did David do? And all, we talking about all these mighty men that are supposed to be soldiers and warriors and they were scared of the giant. This little boy, shepherd boy, that attends to flocks and sheep came out with a slingshot and but he was what? Anointed by God. He had God in his life. And it was the power of God once he once he drew that slingshot. God was right there. Boom! And then knocked the giant down. You cannot tell me what God cannot do. Yeah, I noticed everything last year. Right? I wish I would have right? recorded a lot of the stuff besides the dog. Besides the dog. That was on his way up. And... You know, his brothers, you know, other people were supposed to be uh, in higher positions than before him. But that was like the catapult that started to launch him into the places that he really belonged. Because God changed all his life and God had a purpose for himself. So you got to even remember, even in the bed, God, what is this catapulting me to? What are you take? Where are you taking me to? I had to ask these questions every single time, especially when I was dealing with all these hard things with you. I had to say, God, what is, why am I going through all this? What is the purpose? Because I'm tired. I did. I said this. In the past two years, I said this. I said, God, I'm sick. I'm tired. I'm I said, man, why am I going? Why? What is this? What do you want me to do? What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to help people in this world? What are you leading me to? Because I know this is not it. I know I'm not supposed to just sit in the wild in, in this mess. And this unhappiness and sadness and this guilt and grief and misery. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> this is not what you asked me. And you told me this since I was little. You know, it's crazy because bit so, by bit they try. You know how when they do investigations on people and they go through everybody's backgrounds? But they also do a lot of other stuff too, spiritually and physically. The time that you told me not to go to Times Square and I got punched in the head. And when I came back like at 3 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I knocked on your door, but you didn't answer for about 20 minutes. Maybe you were in the bathroom, and I'm sorry. I can't hear it all the way. I know, it's one earphone, but... Or do you have music in this? No, there was nothing playing. Okay, hold on to this. Can you hear it? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, we can hear it. Okay. It's a, okay. You said hi to your brother, sweetie? Hi, here. Hi, Richard. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
You know something? I know, and Will Smith told, you know what Will Smith? This here is Eric Thomas. Even Will Smith made motivational video. I know, and Will Smith told, you know what Will Smith said in the Oscars? When you get to your highest moment, the devil tries to ruin you. Mm -hmm. Because he wants to bring you down. He wants to be, he wants you to, he, 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 don't, he don't mind that you go to a certain point. Because his goal is to, is to what? Make you and God look like a fool, mockery, and exalt himself. Always, it's always about him, right? His agenda, his mission, him being exalted, people believing, right, him, and, and doing what he wants them to do. So he's going to use anybody he can. Thank you, God, for your time. He finished? And they clapped. What did you hear? What did you get out of that? 